Hey everyone, it's Honda Nguyen. How's everybody all doing today? Hoping everybody is having a great day today. Hey guys, today I want to go over some new updates here on the uh, DoorDash driver app. Um, looks like there is a few updates, a few new things here. Uh, the first thing that uh, you guys see, um, once you guys tap on the uh, DoorDash driver app, it's going to open up uh, this front page right here uh, now like if you guys haven't dashed for a while now they're actually making you or I guess uh, they have this new feature here where they want you to add your car details to make your pickup safer okay and so um, on the bottom or in the middle you can read it, it says uh, in light of COVID-19 some merchants now prefer to bring orders to your car rather than having you enter the store okay so they uh they prefer to do that now so provide details about your car to help merchants find you quickly new store specific pickup instruction will also appear in the app all right so if you look all the way in the bottom it's going to say add car details or a, or below that it's going to say i am not using a car to dash so um, that is more like for an area that people like using their bike or something you know to to um to dash but uh in my area we uh, normally drive a car um so what i'm gonna do like let's let's uh let's backtrack real quick if you go on the top right it actually allows you to skip this step okay if you want to but uh for this purpose of this video today just just want to show you guys some of the new updates here or new options that uh, they want you to add so let's go ahead and just put uh let's add in our car detail so what i'm going to do is going to tap on that and uh, once you tap on that it's going to ask you um the make model color of your car so let's go ahead and do that we're going to go ahead and put a honda my car is going to be the Accord, and then my car color is black. So let's go ahead and save that. And once you save that, it's going to actually let you log in now, uh, basically into the uh, normal uh, DoorDash um, screen. Okay, the main screen. Um, so in this video, I'm not, I'm not, I'm only going to talk about uh, the new updates and stuff. Okay, um, if you guys want to watch. Um, another video that I have it's how to use the DoorDash driver app I will leave that link in the description box below okay but in this video it's just more of some new stuff that uh, DoorDash has added onto the app okay so one of it is the add your car and then the second one that I've noticed is go ahead and type in promos like you know on top left there is a promo um, white button go ahead and tap on that and then once you tap on that, um, the normal refer a friend, right? And then right in the, when you go down down below that, you're going to see it says challenges, okay? So this one is a one that uh, it's a little confusing, so I uh, want to go over it, okay? So let's go ahead and tap on, um, uh, before we tap on learn more, let's, let's, let me just read it real quick. It says earn an extra incentive when you complete a certain number of deliveries in a given time period learn more okay so we're going to tap on learn more and then once you tap and learn more it's going to go to the doordash uh dasher support okay so this is the challenge this is what it is right here let's go ahead and read the, the questions here it says uh the first question is what are challenges challenges are incentives that let you earn extra money for completing a certain numbers of deliveries in a set amount of time so, for example, over the course of a week, Monday or Monday morning to Sunday evening, you may earn an extra $20 for completing 15 deliveries. Okay, so that's what that is. For these challenges, it is important that you complete the deliveries during the time period specified and in any of the start starting points listed under the challenge detail page in the Dasher app. If you see a challenge active in your area, you will be automatically be enrolled in the challenge. You do not have to opt in to participate in the challenge. Okay, so that's question one. Let's go to question two. 
Where can I find currently active challenges in my area? Any challenge that is currently active and not yet completed in your area will be shown to you on the Dash Now panel of the Dasher app home screen. We'll open your Dasher app and select your starting point to see if you have an active challenge in the area. At this time, there will only be one active challenge in a starting point at any given time period. Okay, so they have some examples here. And in this example, in Palo Alto Redwood City starting point, there is currently a $20 challenge active until July 7th. Tapping on the challenge will open a page that explains the detail of the challenge. So right here, it opens up the detail of the challenge, all right? So it's a $20 challenge. And uh, it says complete 15 deliveries between July 1st to July 7th. And I guess if you know if you if you complete the 15 delivery within that uh, time period, and in San Francisco Bay, South Bay, you you're, you're gonna get the uh, the twenty dollars. Okay, so eligible starting points are these areas right there. You can see, and then uh, the challenge info screen will show all the per pertinent details, including the numbers of delivery required, the day time the challenge is valid for, the extra amount you can earn for completing the challenge as well as a starting point the challenge is active in okay so that's what i kind of summarize on top okay and then let's go to the next question here how can i track my progress during an active challenge you will be able to track your progress against an active challenge on the challenge information screen above from the dash now home screen you will also be able to track progress toward a challenge while on a dash as shown below Tapping into the active challenge while on a dash will display the detail. Okay, so this is the detail of it right here. $20 challenge shows zero of 15 deliveries. Okay. And then when the last delivery delivery towards the challenge is completed, you will see a challenge completion screen after you finish that delivery as shown below. So once you complete the uh, 15 deliveries that's required during that time period, they're going to give you that 20 bucks uh, bonus. OK, so that's actually not bad. OK, because that's basically extra money. So, it, you know, it's an incentivize you to basically, you know, do faster deliveries, you know, or 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 uh, what's that called? Uh, accept more orders, you know, so that way you can reach that goal. And then it says, where can you find your challenge earnings? Okay, I'm just going to scroll real fast. So I guess that's where you're going to see it right there. Okay, so if you go to the earnings tab, tap into the week when the ch challenge was complete, you'll see the challenge payout. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. If you guys, you know, want to take a look at it again, just tap on uh, the challenge or help at doordash.com. So it shows you. And then how do challenge work with peak pay? Okay, so this is um, this is good right here. If a challenge is running at the same time as peak pay, any delivery you complete will count toward achieving both the challenge and peak pay. In the example below, there is an active $4 peak pay and an active challenge in Palo Alto Redwood City. For any delivery you completed between 12.30 p.m., you will get $4 in peak pay if the peak pay constraints are met and the delivery will count toward a $20 challenge. All right, so that's actually pretty good. So you can actually get the peak pay bonus and that delivery counts toward your challenge as well. So that's actually pretty awesome. All right, guys, so I that's about it. Okay, guys, so that is about it with the challenge. Uh, let's go back to, let's see, there's a way to go back. All right, so um, I guess that's about it. I don't know where my icon to go back to the, the Dasher app, but uh, those are the two new updates that I've seen, you know, as a DoorDash driver myself. The first one is um, adding your vehicle so it's easier for merchant to locate you when you're like in front. They can come out and, um, and uh, know who you are because you have your car. And then the second one is they have challenges where you complete that 15 deliveries in that um, range of time to earn that bonus. OK, and the good thing that I like about this one, is it's uh, combinable with the peak pay. So that's pretty good. All right, guys, uh, if you guys have any questions or comment, leave them down below. 
Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, okay? And tap on the notification bell. So whenever I upload any new videos, you'll be the first to be notified. And then also, um, I'm also going to leave my uh, referral link, DoorDash referral link on the on the uh, description box. If you guys are like interested in being a DoorDash driver, okay? So sometimes DoorDash give referral bonuses. So, you know, if you complete the requirements in a certain amount of time, and a certain amount of deliveries, um, we both can get a bonus. All right. So it works well on both sides if you use my referral link. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.